All right, welcome back, you guys. Don't forget to donate. Top donor this quarter will be entered to win a Champions of Change signed memorabilia from Doug Baldwin, Cliff Averill, and Michael Bennett. Just scan the QR code that you see in the corner of the screen to get entered to win. As you can already see, we have a guest, Steve Nashka, joining me right now. And this is what I love about this iteration of the Seahawks. You guys stick together. Right? I mean, you're obviously yeah. not playing tonight. Yeah. What? Well, I'm the smart. I'm one of the smarter ones to not not play out there, not trying to embarrass myself. But were you asked? I mean. Oh yeah, it's I could play, but I'm not going to try to do that. I think you These, should be saying like they, I um, The funny thing is that everyone talks casually about it, but they're training years, like, all year for this. I absolutely believe it. They, they are. Came they came the studio to talk about it, and yeah. they were like, "No, this is serious. This isn't just like a one night thing. They've been training all." year to go out there <laughs> and they're a little like stressed about it too they want to play well so can i ask a question that i hope doesn't offend Michael, you now kickers so. place no, kickers special great. teamers unique people right yes. that was pretty bad, like, wow. there is that a competitiveness really and an intensity that that football players have on. does that carry over like, to, like do you really consider like, yourself as intense yeah. as these guys with as let's say a, a charity basketball have. game like are there things uh, where no, you find I'm, yourself like i'm really not like competitive? Oh, i'm not exclusively Brain, competitive if there's something the i really care about i'll be competitive but it's more kind of with myself yeah um, well, he's so up. not a not like one of those super competitive people but in the right thing i'm like as competitive as it gets yeah so what's the right thing, obviously? You, but, yeah. Playing. Ackerley, leading okay. scorer with the ball. Helping your Great team and city win. After. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. You help uh, this team win a ton. I, I don't know. Ever since ever since playing football, that's something that's really fun to be a part of. It's something bigger than yourself. Mm -hmm. And I just – I really enjoy doing that. You know, I'm not, like, the most outgoing person, but I was able to – be out there in the spotlight and and do that job and it it really worked for me somehow did something change on the field because i know that there are players who are maybe not necessarily introverts but yeah maybe not the loudest guy in the locker room did you when you went on on the field feel that or games on the line you've got to make this are you calm yeah i was you know not it it wasn't like my natural personality to want to be out there in those situations, but I knew I was good at it and I really believed in myself. So when I went out there, I would like find this mindset where I know I can do it. I just have to trust myself and believe in myself. And so when I found myself in those situations, I knew I could do it. And I would actually get myself thinking that way before I even went out there. And that was one of the fun parts about it. Was it was this whole man? It was very similar to golf. It was very much a mental game, mm -hmm. and a, like a emotional and spiritual game too. To get myself in that courageous place where I could be my my best out there uh, when it mattered, not just for me but for my whole team and the city. Yeah. When speaking of this team, and you obviously went to a Super Bowl, one went to another, reached greats uh, that the city hasn't seen from this organization before everyone watching has memories of this and it's why everyone has just so much love yeah. for you guys for you for this team um for this iteration this era when did you realize this team's special like i just wonder if it was when I, the we day did. the first day that i walked into the door of pete's why? pete's building what was it he i just immediately felt like it was i was part of the team the guys all my teammates were like super supportive. They were hooting and hollering, and and Coach Carroll was pointing out all the good things that guys were doing, yeah. compared to other organizations where I was, where coaches were pointing out all the mistakes guys were making. So guys started believing in themselves, trusting in themselves, and there's a lot of high quality coaching and all these things that go into it. But there was a really beautiful culture there, yeah. uh, that that's why we're so close. And obviously we won a championship together, but these guys have done amazing things off the field too, which that's not normal. I've, I've been around a bunch of teams. Guys aren't doing things like this like they are in the community in Seattle. And it's just a testament to uh, everything that John and Pete built and a testament to how all the guys came together and became their best selves in the organization. Do you feel that tie as well? To be, yeah. I'm sure you were so excited to be here and there's a special bond when you win that much with the team. Yeah. 
there's it's so special. And it wasn't just it wasn't just about winning. It's a fun reason for us to all come back together. Yeah. Uh, but we were we all played our best here together, and part of the reason was we all held each other to a higher standard, and we all like supported each other in that journey. I'm sure you got to know these guys very well. You guys are friends, right? Yeah. Um, when did you get the feeling that these guys were meant to do some more stuff after football? Because this has been something they've done for three years now. Champions of Change focused on the community as a whole. None of these guys are from Seattle, yeah. right? I mean. Yeah, they all live here, and um, you know, I'm making it my intention to spend more time up here because I know how it's special it is, and like the, my bond with the city and vice versa is is so important to me, and my bond with all my teammates, and I see what the guys are doing in the in the city, and that's not something that happens anywhere. It's special here, and you know, I think twenty. Uh, 2016, things really started to shift, and um, you know, around Black Lives Matters movement, and like, um, there was a lot of there's a lot of intentionality and conversations in the locker room around how to how to make the most impact, and I was very much involved with that with my teammates, you know, from coming from a different perspective. And I was I was supportive of what they were doing, and and it's it's amazing to see how powerful they've they've they spent so much energy trying to figure out how to make the biggest impact they could. And Champions of Change is really, I guess, it's been seven seven or eight years yeah. now. Yeah. It's really been a seven or eight year journey, and for a lot of these guys, it's their entire lives. You know, the experience of their entire lives coming together. And they're putting it all together and making amazing changes. I was at the event last night, and you should have the seen gala. Yeah, the gala. They, um, hearing Michael Bennett and Cliff and KJ and Doug talk about these organizations that they're supporting and, and giving money to to empower the communities and the reasons why they're doing that, it's really special. And I... I've been to a lot of charity events. I've been seeing a lot of charities. What they're doing here is amazing. It's really special, and it's genuine and organic. I agree, and you kind of have to have a feel for a community, for a city, to know who needs help yeah. and to know where it's needed. And so when you have guys that dedicate the time to say, I'm going to raise my kids here, I'm going to live here, they, have, they all have homes here, they all visit uh, if they don't have regular homes here, to know a city is to know where you're needed if you're a civic servant, if you're someone who wants to help. And so that's something that's so beautiful about this. I love that insight about the way that the locker room culture shifted and the way that – because you think about when you're – a kid growing up and you know did you play a lot of sports i'm yeah. sure so i'm sure that in all these sports when you're a kid they preach winning but you're also teamwork and these good be a pillar of the community and be a good role model and then sometimes we kind of forget it like you yeah. get to the pros and you kind of think like all right my job is to win my job is to do these things and then for these guys for you for so many people you leave and you go, wait, I, I learned so many important things about giving back, about being a good role model, about helping out, and I'm not done with that. Like, that yeah. doesn't just end because I'm not playing. It, I'm sure that becomes you. Yeah. You know? And it's inspiring, and, you know, there's – KJ got more involved this year, and I, yeah. I think more got, more players will continue to get involved because they see how special it is, and they just want to plug into it. Very cool message. Very yeah. cool stories. Loved a trip down memory lane. Yeah, hearing totally. about some of your early moments with Carol. It's just it's it's been so cool hearing these stories. Yeah. Steven Hauschka, thank you so much yeah. for joining me. We're gonna step away very briefly, uh, let our broadcasters uh, get back in here, and uh, don't forget to donate. Scan the QR code. <laughs> thank you.